Now in this video we will learn about Kubernetes ingress that what is ingress. So guys uh, with the help of ingress and Kubernetes we can expose multiple services using a single endpoint. Means suppose you are having multiple services in your Kubernetes cluster and you want to expose all of them. So for that you will need a load balancer but if you will create load balancer for each and every service. So it will be costing you because it is a managed service. So we use ingress to expose multiple service using a single endpoint. So in this video we will run three deployments. So if I will show you in my pods. So as I can see, as you can see we do not have any pod running over here. So if I will show you, so these are my three deployments for nginx. This is a deployment, default deployment for nginx which shows the welcome page for nginx. This is for the blue one and this is for the green one. So let us just apply the first one. So kubectl apply hyphen f then the aml file name kubectl apply hyphen f. Okay. So as we can see our deployment has created. So let us have a look on the pod. The pod is stable. So let us then apply our the, our remaining yaml file so kubectl apply hyphen f nginx hyphen deploy hyphen blue similarly deploy hyphen green dot yaml so let us see so as we can see the pods are in initializing state so let us wait till they get stable so what we will be doing after that, once they are stable, we will be deploying the ingress controller which is provided by Kuber nginx ingress controller by Kubernetes. So I will be deploying the ingress controller using the helm chart. So I will be covering helm in my further videos. So please do not worry if you do not know what is helm. So what that will do, that will be creating an external load balancer and that particular load balancer will be used as the endpoint to expose multiple services. Okay, so as we can see, so let us just refresh the dashboard. So once our all the three pods are stable, we will deploy the ingress controller for nginx. But guys, we, for that we have to expose all of our deployments before installing the ingress controller. Okay, so as we can see. We have all the three pods running. So let us just uh, let me just show you. So this is my ingress.yml file. So as we can see, it has a host here, which is demo.dealers.com. So it will be our ingress endpoint. So if you will see here on the path, it saves nginx deployment means on the root, it will be taking us to nginx deployment. So let us run the helm chart for ingress controller. So helm install nginx ingress then stable nginx hyphen ingress so this is the helm chart already created for the nginx ingress controller okay so let us have a look let us do kubectl get all so as we can see we have deployments and pods so let us just run it again okay so let us wait till it deploy our ingress controller okay so as we can see it has deployed so let us just do kubectl get all kubectl get all so as we can see it has generated two pods for ingress controller along with this a service has been generated with a load balancer type along with an external endpoint so i have so let us just deploy our ingress so kubectl apply hyphen f now we will deploy our ingress so kubectl apply hyphen f then our ingress.yml file so let us have a look on our dashboard so as you can see our ingress has been created
so let us now proceed further so now what we will do we will just hit our ingress our ingress endpoint into the browser and we will see the results that on the root it will show us the welcome page for nginx and if i will press the path with the blue it will show us for the blue page and if i will do the green it will show us for the green but for that let us just do the entry of our external endpoint in our host file so if i'll show you here it is so let us paste the ip here and let us mention it as a host at that demo.dealers.com let us just save it now let us just hit our endpoint that is demo.dealers.com okay so it is showing five okay so what we have done i think we have not exposed our services so we need to expose our services before proceeding before uh, for i can say for looking them on the web server on the web browser so we will let kubectl expose then the deployment name that is deployment.apps/nginx-deployment hyphen hyphen port 80 similarly we will do for nginx deploy hyphen green similarly we will do for blue we will expose all the three deployments on port number 80 because nginx runs on port number 80 so we deploy blue okay so our all the services have been exposed so let us just have a look on our dashboard so let us go to services so as we can see here, so let us just refresh our page. So as we can see the welcome page for Nginx. Now let us enter the path which says path hyphen blue. So path on path hyphen blue, it should take us to I am blue. Yes, as we can see now let us try to enter the green. So on green, it will take us to I am green. So guys, that is how we can deploy ingress on kubernetes cluster to expose multiple service using a single ingress endpoint so i hope it is clear to you guys so this was the ingress that we have created along with the pod